I've just got back from the Royal Albert Hall watching Sir Cliff Richard, the night bachelor himself, with his 80 tour. Of course, he's not 80 because it was cancelled last year. He's now 81. But my goodness me, just watching him there on stage, the years just rolled by. We had hit after hit after hit. Every single song he sang, you know, you just knew the words to. Maybe there were a couple of slightly new ones, but they were still all familiar and he leaps around the stage, he's dancing, he's twisting, he's turning, he's oh, up and down the stairs and there's a couple of youngsters on stage with him and he, you know, they keep up with him quite well, he keeps up with them as well. And the sound, at an 81, I mean his voice is just as good as ever and those hits, as I said, just kept coming and coming and coming. And what a star that man has been over the years, a real true performer and he's just thrilled today about getting a hit record as he was when he first had that hit with Move It all those years ago. He's been having hits for eight decades. I can't believe it. Just even saying those words seems quite, in, in, well, unbelievable is the only word I can think of. What a great evening it was. If you get the chance to go and see it or even hear the tape or see it at your cinema or whatever, then do. It is an absolute joy to watch. Not evangelistic in any sense. He didn't preach the gospel. He didn't tell his testimony or anything, but it was so alive with love and life. And, you know, that is just amazing. And it reminded me of a poster that somebody sent me recently, which says, as long as God keeps waking you up in the morning, he hasn't finished with you yet. As long as God keeps waking you up, he hasn't finished with you yet. And I thought, what a lovely lesson for us all to learn, that we take each day as it comes. Somebody once said, treat every day as if it's your last, because one day you'll be right. And although, without sounding too sort of morbid, it's true, isn't it? We don't know. You know, the Bible tells us we, we don't know how many days we've got. We can't change things in our lives just by worrying about them or being concerned. God is in control. Now, I know in these last 18 months, that's been hard for a lot of us. It's been hard to imagine, especially those of us who've lived on our own. I think we kind of felt, you know, we've shrunk a little bit. And it's just now great to be starting to get out and be back with people. Just being in a theatre tonight was like magic, uh, surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of people. And it was just great to know that we can still start getting the theatres open. We're still going back into uh, the jazz clubs and the music clubs and all the different things that, we, that we've been denied over these last 18 months. And we should make each day count, shouldn't we? We should make each day as if it is our last. Do our very best for it. Now, I'm not being all Pollyanna-ish here and saying, oh, you know, yeah, let's, uh, this is going to be a great day. Because there are going to be days that aren't great. But I guess what should keep us going is that God has given us this day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it, whatever it brings. So, Cliff, here's to the next decade and God bless you.